How would you explain in around a, a minute, say, to somebody who says the church is kind of against science, they're opposed to science, skeptical of science, uh, as far as like the church's contribution mm -hmm. to fields of science? So what, what would you say? Uh, oh, well, so I would say they need to study the history of science because uh, Catholics, the church supports the sciences. It runs an observatory. You know, it has the Pontifical Academy of Sciences to encourage discussion among scientists. And people who have been appointed to the Pontifical Academy of Sciences include people like Stephen Hawking, who weren't even Catholic. Mm -hmm. So it's genuinely supporting the scientific effort. If you look, that's just modern stuff. You look back in the history, okay, um, genetics. You know who the big genetics guy was? Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a monk. I mean, Mendelian genetics? He was a monk who was studying the pea plants in his garden that came up with uh, with the with the some of the core basic theories here. Then the guy who came up with the Big Bang theory, Father Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian priest. Um, you look back at other figures from the history of science. You find priests and monks and theologians all over the place. I'm even thinking of so Blaise Pascal, who invented he was the a first mathematician. Yeah, or well, invented mm -hmm. the first computer or calculator, depending on how you yeah. define that. Yeah. Also, uh, Rene Descartes. If you if you know if you remember from geometry class, the Cartesian yeah. plane where you have the x-axis and the y-axis, that was Rene Descartes, a Catholic philosopher and theologian. Right. So um, you've got uh, you've got Catholics making major contributions to science all over the place in history and today. We thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.